thank you for joining me in this video we will cover uh, one interesting question which is plus one this is lead code number 66 and belongs to array and strings category so we study array and strings together uh, largely because a string can be viewed as a error whose elements are characters so the problems in both categories are coupled together this is simple problem but still very tricky to so we will discuss an efficient algorithm for this one and represent the serial code so like the previous videos it also has three steps so in the first step we look at the algorithm in the second step we we go for the handwritten code and in third one which is optional we have the lead code IDE code so which has more clarity and you can copy the code if you want so guys before I start l let me thank you for subscribing my channel and motivating me for developing more such videos I hope the previous videos have helped you in understanding the algorithms and uh, also thanks for giving the feedback from the previous videos that helped me in uh, adding the lead code codes uh, in this video so the question is let's go back to the question question is uh, given a non-empty string of non-negative integers plus one to the integers so we have to add one to a non-negative integers so for example if our input is one two three this is representing the list one two three uh, this is this is a list uh, representing one two three which is integer we have to add one to the one two three one twenty three so we have one twenty four and now the, our output becomes 1 comma 2 comma 4 so here the digits individual digits are stored as an element in the list and we have to add 1 to the entire <laughs> integer which is being represented by this the string so if the input string is 4 3 2 1 the output will be 4, 4 3 2 1 4 thousand three hundred twenty one plus 1 which is 4322 so we have output here let's uh, let's consider so here there are two interesting cases so the the cases where the last digits the 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 rightmost digit is 9 in that case when we add 1 to that one it becomes 0 last digit becomes 0 and 1 the carry is forwarded to the earlier to the left left next digit and when this is not 9 when the rightmost digit is not 9 we just add 1 to the last digit and we just replicate the entire list and we are done so the logic is let's say uh, we have a new number 1 2 3 9 this is 1239 so here we see the last element is 9 so what we do we check the last element in the list and if it is 9 what we do we consider the next element the the other elements other than the before this last one so the here will be one two three and we add one to the earlier one so it is one two three so we add one and it becomes one twenty four and now we extend the array by adding zero so if the last digit is nine we add one to the previous digit and we extend the array by zero we add additional zero so it is twelve hundred thirty nine when increased by 1 it becomes 1240 so there is another interesting question let's say we have 1299 1299 what will happen in that case so it, it is 1299 it is 1239 or 1299 and if you add 1 to it this becomes 1300 so what will happen we will check the last digit and now if the last digit is 9 we add 1 to the previous digit and the previous digit will be 129 and since it is 1 to 9 again we have a 9 so we consider the digits earlier the second 9 so we will have 1 2 and we add 1 to 12 1 2 and it becomes 13 1 3 and then we extend the array by 0 for the second 9 which is 0 becomes 130 and then we again extend the array by 0 for the the next 9 and it becomes 1300 so 1299 plus 1 becomes 1300 1239 plus 1 becomes 1240 so I believe 
uh, this has made the logic clear in your mind now we go for other python implementation so class we have a class solution which has a function plus one so plus one is a function name self dot comma digits which is a list of integers representing our number and we have to return the integer list so how you we do we compute n is equal to length of digits so we compute the length of digits and if the length of digits is equal to one it means if the digits is empty we return a list with only one because we have to add one to it right that is true if otherwise if the digits minus one it means the last element in the digits is nine what we do we we run the function on the numbers before the last one so digits is equals to self dot plus one digits until minus one until minus one means all the numbers before the excluding the last one so it will be from index zero to index and minus two and then after doing that this nine will become ten so we have to extend this by zero so we digit dot extend zero so we add zero to the digits okay extend means we are adding zero at the end otherwise in all other cases so if the length is larger than zero let's say length is three or four and the last digit is not nine for example 123 in that case we will just add one to the last value in the digit so digits minus one is increased by one so this expression plus is equals to means digits minus one is equals to digits minus one plus one and now we have to return the digits okay so i hope uh, you understood the logic and uh, followed through the python code in case uh, you code in any other language i believe with this logic it's not very difficult to implement the code once you understand the logic it's far easier to extend it so here as i promised we are in the third step and this is the official description from the lead code we have an array of digits uh, add one to it so the question is we have to add one to the entire integer being represented and we have uh, the code here the return type is list of integer uh, in my handwritten things i wrote the return type as integer which is not correct we are returning the list itself after adding and this is the code uh, i have learned that it's a very interesting to use uh, the comments in the code at least some comments in code which helps you understanding this code later and uh, so let's see that you write some code in December 2018 and you see you again refer to this code in July of 2019 after this many months you might have written a lot of codes in between and maybe it can be difficult for you to understand a code logic or you can take some time to understand it so to avoid to reduce the time in getting back to a code and to, to be able to understand it for your own self or maybe you go you gave your code to some any of your colleagues and he's they are trying to read it if, in both cases even if you you are referring it to the future date or your colleagues are referring it immediately or in future date this is a it is a good strategy to use meaningful variable names and i try to do it as much as possible and also you being meaningful in variable names and also try to use some of the variable names consecutively in your code so for different lead code problems i try to use capital n as the length of digit and if there are two dimensional arrays i use m for the number of rows and n for the number of columns and i try to use keep using it and and it helps in long run so the the coding is not just about a correct implementation or just a brute for implementation coding also about using using writing clean code writing or uh, using meaningful variable names writing optimized code and trying to use least amount of space and time complexity because that is how we use our engineering knowledge for developing efficient systems so thank you very much for being with me on this video i hope it helped you 
and if you like this video please uh, share it with friends families or juniors who are trying to polish their interview skills or who are just beginning uh, undergrad students and computer science and they're learning the fundamentals it's equally important for uh, useful for all of them and if you like this video and you would like to be informed about the future videos please subscribe my channel so that whenever I upload a new video you are notified of that uh, new video and you don't have to come back to my channel again and again and also please ask your friends to subscribe it if they are trying to learn algorithms and lead code or through any other website like geeks for geeks and so that whenever I upload a content they are the first people to be notified and this is always nice so let's uh, join together our hands together for sharing the knowledge and please do leave uh, feedback or comments uh, below this video and that could help me in future attempts thank you so much and take care until we meet again